Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain some basic features we have in sheet metal modeling in SOLIDWORKS. First, I'm going to create a new file. For this tutorial, I'm going to design a simple L clamp. The very first thing that we need to do is to create a profile on top plane. So first, I'm going to right click over here and sketch so for L clamp I need to create the base to do that I'm gonna select center rectangle over here and with origin as center I'm creating a center rectangle smart dimension this is going to be 50 and this one over here is 75 okay now instead of going through the regular method of selecting extruded boss or base and then extruding the base I'm gonna go with sheet metal features if you don't see this over here right click anywhere over here and then go to tabs here you can select sheet metal if this is unchecked select the sheet metal then you can see it over here I'll show you how it works so right now it is unchecked and the tab disappeared and if I select it again the tab will appear over here and I'm gonna go to sheet metal and under sheet metal I will be selecting base flange or tab as you can see the thickness over here is mentioned as 3.5 mm which I used for another project so I'm gonna change this to 1.5 mm so this is the thickness from here to here and if I select reverse direction it's gonna go in the upward direction but I don't want it to be facing upward I just want that to be downward so I'm unchecking this and under bend allowance we have k factor and the value of k factor by default is 0 0.5 mm sorry it's just 0 0.5 and I'm going to explain about sheet metal gauges in another video where I'm going to discuss uh, some more advanced features we have in sheet metal. So I'm going to click OK. Right now we have the base for L clamp or L bracket. Trimetric view. Now, instead of creating a profile here and then extruding this, I'm going to simply select edge flange now SOLIDWORKS asks you to select an edge the edge can be either this or this depending on your design so I'm gonna select this edge as you can see there is a preview of the extrusion or the flow of material uh, in upward direction because the cursor is moving in the upward direction and if I just move it in the downward direction the material flow will take place in the downward direction for this design, I want the material flow in the upward direction. So I'm going to click the left button on the mouse. And once you click the left button on the mouse, it gets logged over here. And then you can change the values. The first value we have is angle. You can enter any value from 0 to 90 degrees. For this, uh, I'm just going to go with 30 just to show you how it works but I want it to be 90 so I'll reset the value and then we have used default radius here and it is checked so SOLIDWORKS automatically calculates the default radius when it bends and the default radius for this particular thing is 0 0.7366 mm and if I uncheck this option we can enter the value of the radius let's say the value of this radius is 1.5 mm you can see that there is a change in the curvature over here and if I select use default radius again it's back to its previous state again we have another one over here which is flange length so under end condition it is in blind you can select up to vertex or up to edge and merge depending on the design you have if you have another vertex or something like that you can select that option but for now we are going with blind 
and the distance from here to here so the distance is about 50 mm I would say yeah it's looking good you can also change the direction over here by simple clicking on this but I want this to be in the upward direction also we have flange position I'm gonna show you how it is as you can see the edges over here right now the flange position is material inside so all the material that is being extruded is inside this edge as you can see and if I select material outside you can see that all the material that is being extruded is outside this edge and then we have another option that is bend outside as you can see the bend is uh, the bend starts over here the bending of the part starts over here but if I select bend outside it will start from here so the bend starts here if I select this option and then we have bend from virtual sharp so this is the virtual sharp we have and the bend starts from here for this design I'm going to go with material inside I'm gonna click on OK I want to discuss the other properties we have in another video I'm gonna go with trimetric view again also I want to create some holes or just a simple hole over here and then on this surface as well first I'm gonna choose this face sketch circle and this is going to be 10 mm in diameter the sketch is fully defined instead of selecting extruded cut I'm gonna go to sheet metal again and here we have another option which is again extruded cut but in the sheet metal features here under end condition we have blind this is just like a regular extruder cut option we can see all the features that we have all the options that we have in regular extruder cut over here as well so I'm gonna go with blind and uh, here we have an option called link to thickness if I select if I uncheck this link to thickness you can see that the extrusion or extruder cut is going till 10 mm and if I select this option SOLIDWORKS will calculate or determine the thickness of this part and it will extrude till that value so for now I'm gonna go with that option click OK so here we have a hole on this surface and I want another hole on this surface sketch circle this one is 10 mm again the sketch is not yet fully defined so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna select this one and uh, I wanna choose the center over here first I'll draw a center line from here till here and then I'm gonna add a relation here this and this line are coincident okay still the sketch is underdefined so I'm gonna select this point and I'm gonna select the origin point and make them vertical 
now the sketch is fully defined I'm gonna go back to sheet metal extruded cut it's again the same link to thickness okay and uh, at last I want to add a fillet so features fillet So there is a default value of 10 mm. I'm just going to go with that because this is just a sample. So right now we have an L clamp or an L bracket and uh, I'm going to specify the material. Let's say brass. Okay. First I'm going to save this. So this part is saved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a drawing from this part. Select file. Make drawing from part. Drawing. Okay. So here we have different views. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the standard view drawing standard three view and uh, the part that we want over here is sheet metal X size one. So I'm going to click on OK. As you can see, we have all the three files or three views over here. Now, in order to give the dimensions to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go with the model view, model items, um, entire model. Mm. And I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see, we have the dimensions here. I'm going to update this a little bit. I'm just going to the options over here and then document properties. We have units. Or uh, Okay. So the dimensions are updated here. As you can see, we have the breadth as 50, the length of this as 75, and then we need this height, which is 50 over here. And then uh, the whole diameter is 10 mm. Here, uh, the fillet radius is 10 mm, and it is not very clear over here. So instead, I'm going to use smart dimension and add it over here. You can add this anyway. You can even add this over here. Also for reference, I'm going to uh, add an isometric view so that the part looks clear. So I'm going to add an isometric view and I want to change the scale here let's make it 1.25 I think that's look that's looking good also I just want to change the display style okay and I'm gonna save this So this way you can make simple brackets or clamps or any sheet metal designs using the sheet metal feature we have in SOLIDWORKS. 
I'll see you in the next video. Till then stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.